This video, you guys, I think is very important to anybody doing the level grind. Now, as you move along grinding your levels, you'll get some power-up passes. Now, to all you guys that don't know what that is, that is a card that you get that is a collectible that you can add to a player's power-up card. And th that lets you kind of skip past some expensive cards, some cards that are maybe rare. And it just allows you to do the old power process a little bit easier. In this episode today, we'll talk about the two power-up cards that you get, which are from 82 to 84 overall. Now we'll also do one for the 62 to 81 and for the higher up ones. I just want to start with this one because I haven't done all the research on the 62 to 81 uh, cards yet. And I think this is a good place to start. Now before we do anything else, please subscribe to the channel. It would help me out so much. And you would also get notified once I upload new videos. So if you guys, are, if that's something that you guys are interested in, then of course, please subscribe. It would help me out so much. Also on another note, this is a good idea for you, for you to keep track of where you put your power up passes because you forget. So what I do is I just pull out one of those editor or notepad things on my computer and I just note down 61, uh, 62 to 81 power up pass. I put that on this and this card just so I can keep the notes. I, I can't remember, so I wanna keep notes. Now let's talk about which players you want to focus on. When I think about what man card to get, the first thing that I look at is, of course, speed. And this is going to be a main focus of this video. You want these power-up passes. First of all, you want them for skill positions, most of all. Unless there is like an offensive lineman that you want and he costs 400k. And you want to use your power-up pass on that, then go ahead. But I generally use these passes on skill positions. And on skill positions, what you want is you want speed. When I think of skill positions and speed, I generally think of cornerbacks and wide receivers. And let's talk about these cornerbacks and wide receivers. Now, most of these cards are going to be th team builders. I know that you can get the sets done. It's not the most expensive, but that's just what I like to use the power-up uh, passes on cards that I think are worth it and that I'm not going to sell back. That I'm going to keep for a while. So, uh, where is it? Team builders. There we go. Wide receivers, there we go. Debo Samuel, that's the first one. Uh, I want to look at this. Uh, actually, you know what? I will go right here. I'll... Oh, that's a snipe. That's a snipe. I got to get that. Got to get that. Got to get that. Can I still get it? Please, 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 please. Hey, would you look at that? Got a snipe. Or maybe it wasn't even a snipe, but I, I got this Debo Samuel cheaper. So, what I want to do now is I want to... Uh, there you go. Quick look at this card. And the main thing that will jump out to you is 88 speed. Now, there's one team builder that has more speed than that, which we'll get to in a second. But I like this Debo Samuel because he gets, uh, what does he get? Like, short in elite. I think that's the ability that you want. I can't, I can't, never can remember ability names, guys. He is one of the ones that you want to power up. The big issue is that his power up, it costs quite a bit. And for all these cards, that's the main theme. The power-ups cost quite a bit, but you can save a lot of coins by buying these cards, uh, by not having to buy these cards. So buy the power-up and then get this uh, for Debo Samuel and then get him. He's a great wide receiver. I'm using him. I'm having a lot of fun with him. Now, if we go one step down, we can get to D-Jack, Deshaun Jackson. He's got one extra speed, but his route running is not that great and he doesn't get that great of abilities. Deep threat, uh, it's not the best archetype you want. So, I still think that he's decent, I still think that it's worth getting him, but it depends on what you want. I'm running Bunch, I have Debo Samuel in my slot, he's a great weapon for that. If you want somebody who just runs fades on the outside with 90 speed at wide receiver, then Deshaun Jackson might be the card for you. Nothing about the offensive side of all, let's now talk about the defense. Fabian Morona, he is a great card, that's 90 speed stock, you guys, if you get the power up, that's... 91 speed he's definitely worth it now if we look at these other stats it's decent you're never gonna get budget beasts like that which i think 84 overall is a budget beast at this point with 90 speed and then great zone crush he's not gonna get that but i think he's decent you can never press with fabian Moreau as you can't with any other cornerback because they get burned six uh, 76 press also doesn't lend itself to that but again beautiful car beautiful stats what jumps out of course at you is the 90 speed. Now let's keep going. There's another cornerback that I wanted to take a look at. Which let's see if we get him. Actually, there's there's three. Uh, this Sean Murphy bump, bump, uh, Bunting, he actually is also pretty decent. 88 speed. That's two speed less uh, than Fabian Moreau, which I think I should switch. But also, this Ladrarius need, it really depends on, it just depends on what you want. I think best cornerback for in this kind of price range is this Fabian Moreau. So I'm gonna 
Actually, uh, yeah, I I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna grab him. I haven't yet, yet done that. Or why actually am I grabbing him? Oh, whatever. And this guy, the, one of these three guys, absolutely great plays. You definitely want to get them. And there are some others. Uh, let's keep going. One thing that I dislike is that only three safeties this year are fast. This Darnell Savage, meh, he's not that great. But this Nacer Adelaide. 90 speed free safety. That's definitely a guy that you also want to take a look at now You might say when you're watching this video Well, you're just telling me that a couple of these cars are good Which one should I choose and this is a difficult question for me to answer because I don't know your team I don't know your coin stake. I don't know what you can afford. I'm just telling you these are the guys that I would take a closer look at Which uh, of these players fits your needs? Do you have a hole in your team? Do you have a bad free safety and you haven't yet tried this Nacer Adelie? Well, that might be a card that you should go for. But this really all depends on what you want, what you think your team needs. And that is personal preference. I'm just laying out the groundworks. I'm just letting you guys know these are the cards I take a look at. And I can't do much more than that. Now, I'm going to keep this rather short because I don't need to over explain this to you guys. Once again, make sure you note down where you use your power up passes. And how do you use your power up pass? Well, you just grab the power up of any player. You upgrade them. You spend the training points. Uh, then you put in the power up pass where you would otherwise have to buy a player. And then you're good to go. That's that's basically all there is to it. Now, I appreciate you watching this video a lot. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, I'm going to say goodbye. I'll try to do more of these mud tips uh, because I feel like a lot of people are new to mud that want to maybe get invested in the mode, but don't yet know a lot about it. I don't know the most about it either, but I can give you kind of like the beginner thought process because... I've been a beginner, not that recently, not that long ago. So I think these videos can help you. If you want to support the channel, you can subscribe. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to respond to as many as possible, which I think I'll be able to respond to all of them. Uh, but until next time, goodbye, guys, and see you next time. Sorry.